think a good example of what you were talking about earlier is actually in this episode as well. If you guys remember, before that, we went, were at Paul's Gate. Mm -hmm. And we passed a woman who had, or had a very bad wrist injury. It was all yeah. wrapped up. And, but she couldn't speak a lick of English, mm -hmm. right? And there's nobody yeah. to interpret. How well that we remember. And, we, and you guys prayed for her, and you're trying to communicate. There's, you just can't do it. And at some point, I think you're just like, Lord, heal. You know what I mean? Like, you just, just did it. Just like, put your hands on her and go. English? We pray? We're praying. Praying? Praying. Praying? Better. For good. Is it is it hurt? Ah. Mm. Now? Ah. <laughs> no? Be healed right now. All pain get out in Above. Jesus' name. And then what is it? Like maybe five, ten minutes later, we're about to head out and she comes back with a friend who speaks a, a little yeah. bit of broken English. What did you do to her? I think it was yeah. her daughter, because, actually. Because she, like it that. feels, yeah. it's, yes. it's better. What did you do? I forgot about and that. And there That's was, right. and you guys were able to pray more for the wrist, but like because of the communication, there wasn't really an ability to like go into the kind of depth and nuances of like Jesus is inviting you, that kind of thing. Yeah. It was just like, you know, we're just, like all we can really do at this point is pray for even more healing. Yeah. And when and she have comes a good day, back, right? It's like when up. she comes back, it's almost like she's like, and we're like, we pray. If I remember correctly, it was like we pr we prayed for her, and she goes, and what else? It was almost like that's it, yeah. you know. That's you know, because their concept of prayer was just that was just right. You're speaking. Can I get practical nothing. for but, a second? But I mean, somebody would say again, what's the point of that? Yeah. Right? Okay. 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people in these mass healings that Jesus did in the Gospels. Let's this isn't prophetic. Let's just get practical. <laughs> There's. How is he praying for people? You know what he's doing? He doesn't have right. time to sit there yeah. for 30 minutes with each person. He'd still be there. Yeah. yeah. And so, I, to me, to me, if I care about the person, and even if the person doesn't get healed, if they know that, man, I just really felt loved. Like, I haven't felt loved in a long time and cared for and connected with someone else. I think if we can, can move into that as our mindset... We have to believe that just like Shampa, just by a tender hug, you can't get away from, man, I encounter a God today. Mm -hmm. With her hand getting better, you can't tell me that even now from time to time when she looks down at her wrist, she doesn't think about it. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. At the very least, she understood Jesus. Yeah. Right? She, she understood the she word Jesus. She experienced Jesus. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was she was experiencing Jesus. And, you know, it, it, here's the thing in all this stuff that we're doing. If you, my, my, I've got a friend, another Brian friend, who says we're putting Jesus on display mm. for the community to see so that they realize they want him. Mm. And it's so true. Mm -hmm. In doing these things, we're putting Jesus on display. So many people are going to take shots and going, oh, you're self-promoting or you're trying to do your ministry or you're trying to do... I, I, we hear that all the time. But you're really putting Jesus on display and saying, don't you want him? Mm 